the Joe Rogan experience. I was a fan back when you got fucked over in the Olympics, <laughs> man. God damn, did they ruin that. That was terrible. That was one of the worst Olympic decisions I've ever seen in my life. Maybe the worst. It was so bad, but it was in Korea, right? Yep. It was in Seoul, and, South Korea. And the Korean Park fighter. Hun. Yeah. But God damn, that was ridiculous. It was one of those fights where you're like, well, he got the gold medal. Clear. And then you see the decision, your jaw drops. You're like, mm -hmm. what is this? It hurt the sport of boxing, especially amateur boxing. It hurt it because when you can take a kid 19 years old, he defeats his rival clearly, and you rob him, it really eliminates the integrity of that sport. Yeah. And you still don't go back and fix it. Mm. Nobody to this day has come back and tried to fix it. They gave me Olympic orders. They gave me the... Uh, Val Barker Cup, which is for the best boxer at the Olympics, where well, that's How contradiction. Crazy is that? That's How contradiction. Crazy is that? How is the best boxer here not wearing a gold medal? Yeah, it was <laughs> it was bad, but it also was in one way it made people really root for you. It was a blessing in disguise, and I understood that the the, the second day, I think I might have cried the whole first day, but the <sighs> second day, well, I didn't cry till after I went to the back and asked asked, asked the interpreter to ask him if he really thought he beat me. Because if he said yes, then he didn't know it, but he was going to get another one. <laughs> <laughs> but he said, no, I know I didn't win, but it wasn't my fault. It was the judges. I shook his hand, and I left. And I never had another, another bad feeling towards him because he, him. he didn't do it. You feel yeah, me? You're right, for you sure. You have to understand what, what it's come. But right. then I also realized that not only were the judges not necessarily, they, they are to be blamed, but... What God did was take their negative and turn it into a positive for mm. me. And look where I'm at now. It was a big talk. Like I remember when you began your career, there was a big talk of your career, how you got fucked over in the Olympics. It was not a it wasn't a question. Not at all. There was no debate. There's not, not I never saw a single person that made an argument that he won. Nope. It was all you. And so that when you began your career, you had a lot of people rooting for you. Yes, and that was a beautiful thing. That that's the blessing uh, above all for me because to me it was God's way of making me not put my life on idle but turn me up on high yeah i had no clue what he was doing but that's why you just trust in god look where you at now <laughs> yeah i remember when you fought james tony and that was a big fight because james tony was in his prime and you yeah. were in your prime and uh again you caught him with that leaping left hook man that crazy left hook and dropped him when you when you beat james tony like that i think a lot of people had to go whoa like he can do this to an elite top of the food chain world champion. That's what makes a real superior athlete. Not that you can do it to guys who are beneath you, but you can do it to guys who are supposed to be your equal or yeah. above you. That's when you're really doing it. Episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience are now free on Spotify. That's right, they're free. From September 1st to December 1st, they're going to be available everywhere. But after December 1st, they will only be available on Spotify, but they will be free. That includes the video. The video will also be there. It'll also be free. That's all we're asking. Just go download Spotify. Much love. Bye-bye.